Hey guys, this is Drew Plays Bass with SoccerReviews.com, bringing you a comparison video today between the PowerCat 1.12 and the PowerCat 1.12 SL. Um, anybody that's watched any of the comparison videos I've already done, I realize I've done this with almost every single comparison video, but I would like to go ahead and start by saying that these are great boots. If you have a chance, uh, I know you can actually find the PowerCat 1.12 and the SL for under um, $100 in some places or right at it. So a steal for a kangaroo leather release. Quality boots that I really enjoy. Some of my favorite power boots. And in fact, if you listen to our podcast that we post... Um, Puma actually got my best full company outing for last year, and the PowerCat is definitely a big reason why. Uh, but anyway, we're doing a comparison video, so let's get to the comparing. Uh, these are both kangaroo leather upper, no difference there. Um, this is the launch, one of the launch colors that came out, the blue with the gold, gold accents and white. And this SL is one of the more recent launches, red Limoges, or however you would like to say it, um, blue and the white, kind of a um, American colorway, I suppose, if you're feeling it. Um, so anyway, the biggest difference is the weight. Uh, this one is definitely more of a bulky power boot feel, um, closer to... 10 ounces I would say and this one actually a lot lot lighter um, maybe I want to say I can't believe I'm not prepared for this but uh, I really do think it's over 2 ounces less from the SL release to the normal release uh, overall a lot of similarities just from looking at them the upper as you can see on the normal one kangaroo leather to here I believe and I believe this is a synthetic leather all the way back here and then a synthetic here this is synthetic and the tongue on this kinda has a suede feel on the inside a little bit padded kinda has that padded tongue feel and kinda this weird mesh material right there but uh, what you feel is the suede it's got suede underneath it um, the inside kinda this uh, well, nice suede material in there and a synthetic heel liner that wraps all the way around. Um, has kind of a, if the light will hit it right, it looks like it has a texture to it, but it really doesn't. Um, kind of looks like it has lines of texture, but it doesn't. It's just a synthetic all the way down. Very comfortable. Uh, Breaking time is very minimal on these. Um, at this protection on the back, this nice heel counter uh, that definitely saved me from a lot of uh, nips at the heel. Always love having that on one of my boots. Uh, bulky, I, flat toe box, I really enjoy this boot. Great for striking. Uh, if you're buying into the fact that it's a power boot, then sure it may make you feel like you're hitting it harder, um, but you're not really hitting it harder, you're just enjoying the way it feels. Um, anyway, has the 3D PST, the, their shooting technology that they included on this. Um, to me, just looking at it in between the two, and um, I could be completely wrong, but the one on the normal 1.12 is raised slightly more than on the SL. I'm sure I'll get several comments saying, no, no, they're the exact same, but just from looking and feeling in my hands, the normal one is a little bit more raised um, than the other one. Uh, they f have about the same texture to them. They're both pretty firm. Um, but the normal one, a little bit more raised than the other one. Uh, your sole plate on this one, you have that Puma 6 stud configuration in the back that I've never been able to understand, but it works. I do enjoy it. Uh, and this, these weird bladed studs in the front, kind of different. Very uh, reminiscent of a lot of stuff Puma's done recently. It's effective, um, and I like it. And that's the 1.12, the normal one. On the SL, you get this kangaroo leather, the same same thing, kangaroo leather to about here. I'm pretty sure this is a synthetic leather through here. Um, 
it's much thinner much much thinner you can tell when you're playing you can tell in your hands um, that it is much thinner than the 1.12 uh, probably one of the thinner synth uh, I'm sorry thinner, thinner kangaroo leather materials um, I'm sure they had a lot of practice with the K leather Evo speed but anyway uh, the tongue is completely different this is one of the major differences that you can actually see. It's got this perforation all the way through it um, that's actually see-through. You can see through those little holes. A uh, little cosmetic difference, SL right there. Um, so that's a little bit lighter. On the inside, I really wish I could get the light to hit it because on the inside, it actually has all these little bitty Puma symbols. I don't know if you can see it. Oh well. But it has little bitty Puma symbols. Uh, it's this nice kind of suede material. And the synthetic on this has a synthetic heel liner. And it has a texture. It has a, a bumpy, see if I can get the light to hit it right as well. Kind of this bumpy texture all the way around. Uh, it was very comfortable out of the box. Both of them I wore straight into a game and enjoyed it. Uh, also synthetic on this side, just like the 1.12, but uh, just like with the kangaroo leather portion, you can tell it's much thinner. Still has that external heel counter that I really like um, because for some reason a lot of people like to nip at my heels. I'll never understand it. Uh, the sole plate on, I cleaned one of them a little bit. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell, but this always drives me nuts. I don't know if it does for you. That is gorgeous. I love that. But it's on the soul plate. Who sees this? Um, I think that is beautiful looking. Power Cat SL right there. Uh, the studs are the exact same. I think the, the plate is actually thinner. Um, definitely more responsive than the other one. Um, get you a side by side comparison. Um, and just from me bending it after having broken both of these in and worn them for a long time This one still bends a lot more so definitely a lot thinner uh, But seriously that is awesome. I love that um, Wish it was somewhere where people could actually see it, but now you guys know and I know so that's good enough I guess um, I took the insoles out of both and Identical Colors are a little bit different. This one doesn't say SL on it anywhere. Just Power C. So, pretty similar. Uh, now, the only thing is, um, even though I don't have the this colorway in the normal one, I wish I did because I wonder if they've changed it. It does look like it's been slightly perforated. Maybe a little bit lighter. And this one has a completely different texture to the bottom. So, on the top, they look identical. On the bottom, there are some slight differences. I'm not willing to say one is any lighter than the other. Uh, in your hands, it feels lighter. Um, but slightly different there. Both very comfortable. So, they're not going to hurt, hinder, or really make your performance better. But, anyway... Those are the main differences in the SL and the normal release. Pretty much what you get with the SL is just thinner everything. Thinner synthetic, thinner tongue, thinner kangaroo leather. Uh, same quality of materials and really great, great boots. I cannot recommend these high enough. Uh, if you go back and listen to any of the old Soccer Views podcasts, Jordan mentions a power cap pretty much once or twice per, per podcast. He loves them. I love them. Uh, once again, if you saw the Evo Speed video, I said this about them. Puma, everything they did last year was extremely underrated. If you have a chance, go pick these up. Great boots. Um, I hope I haven't missed anything. Um, but they're really similar except for the fact that just a lot thinner on this one and a little heavy on this one. I'll let you look closely here. You guys can decide and tell me I'm nuts and be like, those are the exact same. Those look identical. See, I just think it's a little bit thicker. But anyway, those are most of the differences. Uh, yeah. PowerCat 1.12, PowerCat 1.12 SL. Make sure you check out the reviews for this one. Uh, it's already up on the website. Um, and that is soccerreviews.com. We have lots of stuff up there. You need to get involved if you're not already because we're doing more and more every day. Um, 
Make sure you like the video, or if you disliked it, then give it a dislike. Either way, it's feedback. lets us know what we're doing. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We're trying to get a little more active out there, trying to put more stuff out on the Facebook, out on our YouTube, and all that stuff, all the social media stuff. Um, and I hope that this wasn't the most boring 11 minutes of your life. And once again, I'm Drew Plays Bass. Go check out SoccerReviews.com. And thanks for watching.